Today in the news, we lost the GPU war, Intel yoinks AMD, and the ARC is getting closer. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. Next up, we got Intel in the news. It looks like GPUs aren't the only thing getting scalped these days. Just like back in 2017, when Intel decided to poach Raja Kuduri from AMD, the company just scored another high prize. Rohit Verma, who was a lead SOC architect for discrete GPUs at AMD, just got hired over at Intel as, well, a lead product architect for discrete GPU SOCs. Now, this isn't his first stint at Intel. He worked there from 1999 to 2013, but this is a pretty big deal for Team Blue. Speaking of Intel GPUs, one of their lower end discrete cards just got benchmarked. Specifically, it's the ARC A380. In terms of specs, this is the model that would allegedly feature 128 compute units, 6 gigabytes of GDDR6, and a memory bus of 96 bit. We don't know the clock speeds just yet, but we'll get back to that in a moment. It was tested using the Sys Software benchmark tool, and it did relatively well. Now, Sys Software is kind of a weird benchmark because it's a very synthetic and be very compute driven. But here we go. In the vectorized GPGPU section, there's four different tests. On average, the ARC A380 essentially performed around its competition, those being the 6500 XT and the RTX 3050. It's not necessarily better, but it's right in the middle, excelling in some tests like Mandel Quad and being beaten in others. Now, of course, gaming performance will likely be a different thing altogether, but with the benefit of XES I would definitely say that the A380 is priming itself to be a good RTX 3050 competitor. Oh, and uh, I mentioned clock speeds earlier. While we don't know what the A380 will be clocked at, it looks like we got a sneak peek at what the higher end models might be. One of the highest end models, the one with 512 execution units, was spotted on Geekbench a couple of days ago. It was paired with a 9600K and it had a clock speed of 2400 megahertz. Now, of course, this might be a pre-production model, but the clock speeds is still pretty high. What isn't impressive though, is the score that it scored on the Geekbench benchmark. In the Geekbench V5 OpenCL Performance Bench, it scored a whopping 85,448 points. How does that compare to other GPUs? Well, that's just under an RTX 2070. Does that mean it's gonna suck at gaming? Well, not necessarily. This is an open CL benchmark, and of course it doesn't translate into direct X performance. As usual, we'll just have to wait and see. Anyways guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you wanna talk about today's stories. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. I mean, I tried, but I can't really. I mean, the love was sink, but the drop heavy. It would last forever, January. I kind of expected it to be sturdy. I mean, we did Netflix and chill, then I kind of got.